let me teach you how to do makeup like a professional hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl variety once again so you know that definitely i am always happy to see you if you're new here please try and subscribe before you leave and if you're an old subscriber thank you for coming back i love you so you know that um you cannot do makeup on a dirty canvas okay you cannot do makeup on a dirty skin you have to cleanse your face so you have to cleanse your face and i always go for a micellar water it is good for all skin types and then the weather is very hot as you can see and that is why i am using a sweat guard okay it's called sweat block for some people but after my sweat block i go on and use my moisturizer you know you know now you know how we do it so i use my moisturizer i'm using moist essence from bosom makeup you end up using your primer also because your primer holds your makeup and keeps it in place makes it not to be shifting and well i am using this classic makeup primer and it is a matte primer because i have oily skin it does the job it serves me keeps my makeup matte and smooth all day and if you have dry skin please jump this primer don't even go close so for the next one i'm applying my foundation i'm using a classic hd foundation okay it does the job as usual <laughs> a very little quantity goes a long way so if you don't have any discoloration on your face or on your skin please avoid using a lot of foundation as you can see i use very little and this concealer is from the adventure okay this is not a paid post to this concealer is from the adventure i'm using two shades of concealer okay one is a yellow tone and the other one is a white tone okay i want i really want my highlighting to pop up very well so this this thing i'm doing now is what we call highlights you notice that i blend it out immediately i put it on because if you leave it on for a long time you see how the pigmentation came out of it <laughs> It dries up really really quickly so when you're dropping it you're blending it out but this is not the same for other concealers okay you have to check if the concealer you're using is a cream concealer this is a cream concealer if you're using a cream concealer you blend it out immediately if you're using a water-based concealer you might have to leave it for a while okay so the next step is my blush so I apply my blush from the outer corner of my eye all the way to the end of my cheekbone. Okay, now you know blush is a step you can skip. Okay, if you do not like blush, please don't bother so that you don't look like what you don't like. So the next step i am going to be doing my contouring no contouring is actually the places that have shadows in your face you know it keeps the shadows there it shapes your face okay it gives your face a different shape or a very sharp shape so your face to be v-shaped you can achieve that with contouring okay at the topmost corner of my ear that is what i use in contouring and this uh you have to use a concealer two shades darker than your skin and after you finished your highlighting you set your highlights with the same shade of powder as i've showed you okay you set your highlights there and you also use your setting powder to bake i like baking if you know me you know my makeup i love baking and then you use a, a little bit of it to spread throughout your face okay mind you some certain powders are pigmented while some are not you keep your powders in place with a certain spray and now we are going over to the brows now this brows i'm using a uh, hair wax i do not like using brow tamer because it has plenty oil just don't like that and then you set the hair wax with certain powder i'm using an eye pencil from davis in the color 18 yeah and I'm just going to line towards using the shape of my eyebrows. Okay, I am not going overboard. I'm not doing anything dramatic today. I'm just going to do a simple brow. 
and then after lining you shade it okay shade it lightly as lightly as possible and you shade the front of it make it an illusion so that it's going to be a natural brow you use your concealer to remove the excesses okay make the line very sharp and very sweet just like i'm doing it right now okay this is uh i have a lot of bro videos okay so you can just go through that if you want details now i'm going to be doing uh a smoky uh, okay would well, i call it a smoky yeah a smoky an orange smoky so and i started with a deep shade of orange in my crease i didn't want the crease to be too strong and then i went in with a brown okay so you can actually call this uh, another form of cut crease but it's not really a full cut crease okay it's just a an indirect cut crease i'll call it like that so i use an angle brush a fluffy angle brush to make this line just a little above my eyelid okay why i did that i had to bring in this very I wanted my eye to be a little bigger than what it is so that is why i'm doing that okay uh if you have a small eye or a hooded eye this method will work so you see how i'm pushing the the fluffy blending brush like a windsh windshield and now i use this uh, uh eyeshadow primer from classic i placed it directly on my lid blended it out and i am using this orange okay now i told you i'm making an orange smoky and this is what it looks like it is looking so sweet now if you want it to be a burnt orange which i'm going to show you you're going to apply a little bit of brown on it you can look at it look at that just look at that so i just you know me i'm a glitter girl <laughs> i'm a glitter girl i like the shines so i am going to be dropping some glitters on top of it and then this is me adding a little glue for my eyelashes now uh there's a step i skipped and i'm just doing it right now this is nose contour okay if your nose is pointed you can totally skip this okay it's not compulsory for beginners it's not compulsory and you use a powder one shade darker than your real color please don't use two shades or three shades it will be looking too dramatic now i'm doing a little cut eye lining uh you see how you do your lining i have other videos about lining you can always check them out and for the inner corner of my eye for my waterline i am using an eyeshadow primer yes it's kind of lighter than the usual pencils I'm placing my lashes I have a video on lash fixing if you need that please check the description box you see the link to the video and you know when you place the lash in the middle you push it the downside and then you push the forward side I don't know the front and the back like that and then you press it together and I'm using a highlighter from Usha's well this highlighter keeps breaking it's so annoying but it does the job if you can see the technique i use in lining my leaves making a v shape in front and then a single line under and then you tend to join the two lines after doing this leap <laughs> which took me so much time after all it took me so much time i just realized it just doesn't fit the face Okay, it, it was not giving me what I wanted but uh, this lip tutorial will be helpful for you so let's just you know let me just show you how I achieved it anyway so you can see how I successfully joined the lines and now I am going to be shading the inner corner of the lip okay red is not really my color <laughs> It is not really my color, I guess, but it is. It wasn't looking bad after all. It wasn't looking bad at all. So I shaded the inner corner of the lip, and well, it was giving. I won't lie, but for the occasion, it's it was a little too much.
So this was where I said, nah, <laughs> not me. <laughs> I went ahead to clean it up and I am going to show you something spectacular. So I use this two shade darker concealer, okay, to line my lips and I, okay, you might have seen the end result in the beginning of the video. I use it to line my leaves and I used uh, a lighter shade yeah for the inner corner okay but if you have somebody that doesn't like very sharp deep and they said they want to look natural you know they still want it to pop but it has to be natural you can actually go for this okay now after lining my lip I had to shade it a little bit so that uh, the lighter color is not too light okay and this is me trying to make an ombre of the lip lining now look at that oh oh isn't that beautiful it is beautiful i know it's beautiful yeah definitely and if you are going to try this lip tutorial please holler me tag me to the post i would love to see it yeah at this point i would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber make sure you like the video and come back next time okay i promise to be serving you hot content <laughs> okay so now i'm going to powder my face this actually took a while this actually took a while okay it was very therapeutic so i just didn't want to fast forward this side of it you can notice that some places i'm dropping the exact color of my my foundation on it and then some other places i'm just brushing off the excess certain powder okay i'm not like yeah just like my under eye i am not dropping anything okay i just used a little of my shadow powder and i'm using it to brush off the excess powder i want my highlights to pop up i want it to remain the way it says so i didn't want it to shift or to change color and i'm not doing a natural look okay i want everything to be out there <laughs> so do not forget your neck while you're rubbing your foundation do not forget your neck while you're powdering your skin so uh, when you're done, you have to spray your face one more time to keep everything in place. Okay, so my eyeshadow is made of powder, so I didn't bother trying to cover it. And this is my highlighting going at the topmost part of my cheekbone. You can see where I'm placing it, okay? Do not place it all over your cheek. Although, you know, makeup does not have any rules, but yeah it looks tacky if you do that okay and then do not place it all over your nose you see i'm placing at the bridge of my nose and at the tip of my nose uh in front of my jaw and my under my eyebrows okay i'm placing them there just take notes of the places i place highlighting okay uh on my uh, what do they even call this place i have no idea so this is me styling my hair at first i was confused about what to do to my hair pockets you know but i just said to let it flow baby let it flow <laughs> so uh i've accessorized and this is your goal what do you think about the video let me know your thoughts thank you for watching i'll see you next time do like share and subscribe bye